So this is a brand new motor. I will be reversing direction because I need to install it to the deck where I need clockwise. So to do that, I would need to unsolder uh, conducts, then reverse them back and solder, and it should work in the opposite direction. That's as simple as it is. So I just unsoldered contacts. We are popping up the board. Come on, should go. I'm sorry, I don't have enough hands to handle it. Let me pop it up and I'll be back to you. So I'm back, so here I popped the board, you see. That's where I need to understand if you can like turn and rotate. Uh, I believe <laughs> this motor is maybe a little bit tricky. Let me think more about it, how I can handle it. Return back to you soon. So I have to pop out connectors and cut off the piece which was growing out of it. Now I will like turn 180 degrees like that, put it back there, install it properly and then we will install the board back and as we will have reverse polarity for the connectors motor will start rotating in the opposite direction that's everything we need so it would be easy for you to see I'm just connecting power using one polarity and you may see that it will be rotating counterclockwise and if I will reconnect it's the opposite direction give me a second please Reconnect in opposite direction and it's rotating clockwise. Miracle. That's what we need. Let me assemble it back and I will get back to you. Well, finally it assembled and it rotates the direction we need to, so it rotates clockwise. However, it was a little bit tricky with this motor. I pretty much like it, but <laughs> what you will need to do, we will need to rotate uh, contacts, how they connect to collector. Uh, so, it's uh, like, uh, I had to reverse contacts, so if they go like from out, connect from other side to the collector, I just put them connecting from opposite side, and this did the trick. Interesting. But it works. Thank you for your attention.